Welcome back everyone. In this lecture, I will teach you the latest way to implement React type effect. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I just generated a simple React application and which the landing page is this, okay? So let's proceed quickly. Right over in the terminal, I'm going to do Ctrl C to stop the currently running server. And then I'm going to do npm install react dash simple dash typewriter. Hit the enter key to get it fired up. Installed successful. So let's open up the package.json file. And here is it on lines 12. Good. Close it down. Open up the SRC. App.js. Ctrl B or Command B to close down the Explorer. And then I'm going to highlight from the opening header tag to the closing header tag. Wipe it off because we don't need it in this lecture. On lines 1, wipe off the logo.svg. And so we are going to import use typewriter comma cursor and all of these is coming from react dash i guess you know now simple typewriter good so having imported all of this come here and let's make the type effect now i'm going to do const so it is going to be an array equal use typewriter and of course this is a method that takes in an object so right within we are going to access the various properties that is found in the use typewriter method and the first property over there is the words so right within this array we are going to have react dev comma mobile dev you can do this in accordance to your skill so i'm gonna do next js dev separate it with the comma you can add as many as you like but for me i'm just gonna stick with the few here another property is the loop separate it with the comma and then we have to access another property called the type speed and for sure we want to make the type speed to be 100 Separated with the comma, the delete speed. So this is the speed at which each word will disappear from the screen, which is the delete speed. Let's make it 40. The type speed is the speed at which each of the stops over here will appear on the screen. So having done that, let's quickly implement it over here. And then we are gonna have a H1 tag. I wanna do it in between the head one tag so i'm gonna do i am a whatever you have here so how do we do that now okay we have to display it with the span tag and right within the span tag i'm gonna do type effect when you save and check out the browser oops we have to start it first we have to start the server take a look can you see so the next in line is to beautify the type effect, okay? We have to add styles to it so that we can make it look nice. That is quite simple and straightforward. So all we have to do within the span tag, add style here, and then the font width. Let's make it bold, comma, the color. I want to choose green so you can choose whatever color you like at your end the margin left let me show you can you see there is no space between this a here and the whole of this right up i believe you understand what i'm trying to do margin left let's make it 40 pixels safe to see oops that is too much uh, let's make it um, five pixels. 
Save. Okay, good. Everything is working perfectly fine as expected. And that's it. All right. I know you want me to implement the emojis. Okay, don't worry. I will teach you how to do that. So on Mac, it is extremely simple to do that. So you just have to place your mouse here. At the menu, go to edit, emojis and symbols. So we have to choose the laptop emoji for the mobile dev. Emojis and symbol. I'm going to do phone. Okay, let's, let's pick this guy. For the NestJS dev, I don't know what to do there, but I believe. Okay, let me do something like this. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. So you can as well stylize the H1 tag if you wish. For example, I'm gonna do style, color, Let's assume red. Save on the browser. And here is it. Everything appears so simple. I love this. So this is one of the updates that you guys have been asking for. And I'm sorry for not uploading this video on time. So with this, you will no longer have issues with React Typical. Yeah, so you will no longer have to run into issues when building your portfolio project. And please make sure to rate this course, okay? Rate this course. Write a review about this course because it will help me improve on the next course that I'm going to create. And for sure, the ultimate Next.js portfolio website is coming very soon. I love you. Kiss you. Mwah.